what a stark difference <laughs> this fashion haul is gonna be compared to my usual fashion. I feel like I'm a fish stuck in a net. <laughs> this is giving me flashbacks to, is it last year or the year before? When I had that red dress from Fashion Nova. It feels really nice, I'm surprised. Pretty thin. She's pretty thin. I wish I could make you stay. Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very saucy, fingers crossed, haul. Um, I actually haven't purchased from Pretty Little Thing in a while, but a bunch of my influencer friends over on Instagram, um, I'll have a few of them linked down below for you so you can go check them out for inspo as well. Um, they always seem to snatch up so many beautiful night clubby date night outfits from PLT. And so I thought that with my birthday coming up, that I would give some a go. So without further ado, I think I've got about six or seven pretty little numbers <laughs> and hopefully they will fit and not be too little like last time. Um, and I will again have everything linked down below for you to get your hands on. I've purchased this haul with my own money, not that it makes a difference, but just to be transparent with you guys. And now, we're getting to the good parts, we're gonna open it. And I think the theme, emoji commenting theme for this video should be a unicorn since that is Pretty Little Things thing. <laughs> so if you do leave me a unicorn emoji in the comments then I will make sure to reply to you. Let's see what made it to the cart. I'm absolutely petrified. <laughs> but like in a good way, but terrified. Alrighty. First up, we have the Plus Multi Renaissance Print Ruched Bodycon Dress, size 22. Now I sized up and everything because I didn't know what my sizing would be there and I had a look at the size chart and it kind of matched my measurements. Ooh! So obviously it's meant to be like the Renaissance art all over it. How gorgeous is that? It's got this like little ruchy tassel as well, which I will do up and show you when it's on me. I also just want to say what a stark difference <laughs> this fashion haul is going to be compared to my usual fashion. I normally love floaty, comfortable, floral kind of clothes, and this is definitely going to be on the saucier side, so get excited. Um, but yeah, I think we're just going to try it on because the sizing looks good, but we're not going to know until it's on our body. My body. <laughs> okay, you guys. <laughs> this is it on. I have a few mixed feelings about it. From the front angle like this, I really like it. I think it's, what's the word? Flattering, if that's the right word. <laughs> um, but let's go into the things that I'm not so keen on and then we can decide if we like it at the end. Um, first of all, the quality of the material is that like, meshy fit fishnet meshy stretchy stuff really not that great but overall when you look at it you can't really tell so i'm not too bothered by that the thing that's my problem is mostly the straps just constantly want to fall off so they're too long and there's no adjustment in them so as you can see at the back it's just kind of like drooping down and then it kind of goes really low at the back as well and it is a bit gapy so, <laughs> you would think size down to fix that, but this part of my body is like perfectly sized. So nothing a sewing machine can't fix. I can definitely adjust it, have it be happy and sitting on me nicely. But the other thing too is, is like, it almost needs to go wider to sit nicer on my shoulders, but then this could also be fixed with the back problem. So it needs some work, not, not ideal, but at the same time, happy to make those fixes to make me feel good. And as you could see, the ruching was here, which I love. I think it definitely gives definition to the body. Shaping and fit from like this point down, tremendous, perfect. Um, very flattering. It's just the top and like not the front, but just the back and the straps. So we can adjust these things. Um, I think overall I like it. But again, you get what you pay for. Yeah. <laughs> don't love, don't hate. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a look at this color. Wow. 
This is the Plus Red Crinkle Rib Cup Detail Mini Dress. Goodness me, it's like a sentence. Size 20. I think I sized down, or like, this is my usual size, um, because of the ribbing. So hopefully we didn't make an error there. Ooh, look at those spaghetti straps. <laughs> now instantly the quality of this feels like 20 million times more expensive. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> it has got like some sort of built-in breast cup, but it's not wired. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna sit on me. And then it does up at the back with a zip and it has a big split in the bottom back. Oh, I'm interested to see what this looks like. Okay, this is her on. I just think it's not for me. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, I actually really like the shape of it. It's just not my ideal shape. You know what I mean? This is giving me flashbacks to, is it last year or the year before, when I had that red dress from Fashion Nova? Not quite, not quite. It does feel really nice and luxurious. It's not like see-through, which is always a good thing. I just think this might be more of a pear shape kind of gal's dress. <laughs> Obviously you can wear whatever you want no matter what shape you are but for me personally it's just not my vibe I don't think. Um, I don't know. I also think that I wouldn't have a bra that suits it because I'm wearing my strapless bra right now and I'd have to wear like push-up cups or something to sort of fit within the guidelines of what they're giving me. I don't know. I'm just, it's not mine, you know what I mean? Like, it's a nice dress. It's pretty good quality for the price, but I'm just, no, 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 no. Okay, next up, we have a green camo, not camo, tie-dye sort of dress. Now this was like my favorite thing on the website. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna be in love with this. Oops, rubbish again. Ooh. Material wise, pretty thin. She's pretty thin. She's also pretty short. Oh, I really hope that this is nice. I'm not getting good vibes though. I'm gonna have to give her a steam to know for sure. She looks very see through. Very see through. Oh, what'd I do? Okay, you guys, I can't even show this. I'm probably gonna get like demonetized for nudity. <laughs> this is so gapey and I have no idea what the intention was. I've pulled this as much as I possibly can, like strap wise, and we're still, like, I could carry a whole fruit basket in this. Like, and I, you know, I'm not trying to be rude for any big busted women because it's nothing to do with that. It is all to do with the shape. And I think they've just used the same exact model of template for this dress and they just put it up in size and it's not worked at all. Thankfully, I know how to sew a little bit now. So I'm thinking, because I absolutely love this dress everywhere else, like it's a very cute number. I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> so it's my new little task to adjust the straps. I think I'm just going to like pin this in here and sew that, I don't know, let me know. <laughs> Do you think that'll work? I might even like put a dart, is that what it's called, in here and get that sewn in a bit. I'm not too sure, we're gonna see how it works, but it's also that kind of material that's really cheap, so I'm not sure how it's gonna sew. We'll just have to see. But tell me what your thoughts are. <laughs> Let me know. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I really like the color and I really like this detail. Um, I actually should have retied it up where I moved it to. Um, but I like that you can move it up and down. I really think that's a nice feature. And I don't know, it just suits my figure I think. It's very forgiving and flattering there. I just wish it was the same kind of ruching design. Well I suppose it can't really be. Never mind. <laughs> but I was going to say the back just looks a bit boring and also a bit see-through. So I may need to make a slip for this as well, like a skirt slip. I don't know, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. I need to hear your guys' feedback on it because personally I'm unsure whether it's worth the effort of doing this. I'm gonna wait to hear your feedback and then I will decide. 
Now, next up, now this is a two piece, and again, it's that kind of really meshy, crappy material, but it looks amazing on the model. And I'm actually surprised it's come like this because it's gonna be, sorry if you can hear the rain, it's just started to just decide to pour it down. Now this is very see-through, like extremely <laughs> see-through, and I didn't expect that. But nothing a, you know, white singlet or a white crop top bra underneath can't fix. So that's the bodysuit, and it's kind of got like this retro vibe about it. I really like it. Like, even though it's practically nothing, and I probably paid $50 for this set, I'm actually not mad. <laughs> like, it's nice. I think I could do a better job myself, though. You guys, <laughs> I made an error. <laughs> I thought this was going to be chic, and it is not chic. <laughs> oh, no. This is just... I thought it was going to be like Kim Kardashian, okay? <laughs> I thought this would be really cool. No, it's literally mesh on my body. And you can see through it. I don't know what I thought, okay? I thought the model looked great. And she did. <laughs> but she is also not my shape. Nor my size. Yes, when you know you fucked up. <laughs> Now, the only thing that is potentially redeeming is a slip underneath and a top underneath this. That's a lot of effort to go to for an outfit that I'm not sure about. I don't know. It's just very revealing and it's just not as chic or cute as I thought it was going to be. Aside from what it looks like, it is not comfortable to wear either. Like, Cooch is riding. Neck is choking. I feel like I'm a fish stuck in a net. <laughs> <laughs> I did not need to go there. But you get what I mean, it's just, mm, not vibing, not vibing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hopefully this one is gonna be a winner. The Plus Khaki Bardo Button Front Shift Dress, size 22. I mean, let's just all pray. Pray. This is the khaki number on. I don't hate this. I'm not gonna lie. It does do a pretty good job. What I will say is annoying is that there is no function up the top to like make this tighter, which is kind of needed because as you can see, it's very loose. Whereas here is like fit perfectly. So again, I might get my sewing machine out, fix this up. Um, but overall, I'm not mad about it. I actually quite like how long the dress is, how long the sleeves are. You can wear it over the shoulder or you can wear it off the shoulder like I'm wearing. I actually really like this one. I'm not being too critical. And it's actually a um, thicker, nicer material. It kind of feels like a denim -y, but not too thick. It's really, really nice. Maybe cotton, actually. Um, it's probably nylon. <laughs> But it feels really nice. I'm surprised. I also really like the shaping. So you've got the paneling here, which helps to make it look a little bit more corsetty. Speaking of corsets, this would suit a corset so much. I may need to get one of those. Oh, actually, I shit you not, I did not plan this. I ordered a corset. <laughs> Don't know if the color is gonna go, and I swear on my life. I did not plan these to go together. I was planning on trying this on with jeans, but since we have it here, this could be a vibe, you guys. This could be a vibe. <laughs> no, I don't think it's gonna be a vibe. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be a vibe. The one that I'm kind of thinking of is like without the bra, without this cup part and to go under here. That could be a vibe. I think that could be a vibe. But I'm gonna try this on, but my camera is gonna die, so I will be back. So sadly, no such luck. This one did not fit. What I will say though, is if it was a couple of sizes bigger, like I went the size 22. So I already sized one up on this, and I'm still probably a good one to two sizes away from it fitting. 
Um, I just wish it was a little bit shorter as well, like it's quite long in the torso and when you've got a belly as a plus size lady. I personally prefer shorter crops, um, crops, what's it called? Corsets. So yeah, for me personally, I don't think I would have liked it even if it had a fit. Um, so I'm definitely sending this one back. But it has the grippy stuff up the top. Um, it feels like relatively good quality for the price you're paying. So if you are a corset gal, um, I would recommend trying it at least. I did look at the, re um, the measurements and obviously it didn't work for me. So size up. <laughs> size up. Okay, overall, not a great result for today's video. Um, but there was a couple of keepers in there with adjustments to be made. I think the first dress, to be honest, was the winner of them all. <laughs> we started off on a bang and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. Um, come down into the comments, let me know what your fave, if there was a fave, or what your worst pick of the haul was. And like I said earlier in the video, let me know if there's any other places that you recommend me trying or that you would like to see a review from. And while you're down there, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon for another video on my channel. Bye!